Two quick objections. So let's say that you've become convinced, and I hope that you have. My prayer tonight, you know, you, if you feel like I'm getting on you, I'm, I'm really not trying to get on you, anyone. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm not saying that, that uh, uh, I've done it perfectly or that my family is perfect. I'm not saying that. I'm trying to just present to you God's words and His design that we all have to try and get into and, and all have to try and meet. I'm not. What I'm trying to help you do is be set free. Be set free from a design that is destroying families. Be set free. Uh, there are women listening right now who want to stay home with their children, who are drawn to it, feel that power and that urge, but they've heard so much of their lives that that's not the way it's supposed to be done, that they feel like it's wrong, but they feel guilty because they're gone all the time. I want to set you free, that God is the one who placed that in you, because God is the one who made you to fit that, to fit, fill that role in His design. But you may be saying, oh, yes, but here are some problems. The problem is money. We just don't have the money for me to stay home. Wes or your husband might be saying, we don't have the money for them to stay home. Well, my friends, let me tell you this. You have to sacrifice. Do you really need all the things that you have? Step back for a moment. We, we have, you have to make sacrifices in order for this to happen. You, you, you can't have all the new cars. You, you can't have two weeks at the beach every year. You can't have trips all the time. You can't afford to run the children around to ball games every weekend in, in cities all across the country. You, you're going to have to make some, some sacrifices. You're going to have to, to, to come to some conclusions about what's most important. Do you really need all that stuff? I heard someone tell me recently about a woman who would ha was having to stay home with her children now because of, of the COVID situation. And she was talking about how much she, she loved it and how great it was to be with the kids and how much she had missed. And then in the next breath, she was talking about how uh, she was looking at a nice new luxury car. Her and her husband went out looking at luxury cars. So, you know, you see, you see the problem. You can't have it both ways. You're going to have to sacrifice. We, we bought our clothes at Goodwill. We shop for appliances at the discount place. Uh, we don't, we're not able to go on trips very much. I don't have a lot of money in savings. I don't have a lot of retirement. It's taken everything that I can to provide for these children. And one of the things that we have to do over the long term is we have to train our sons to make sure that they have the education that will require them to get a job in a, in a place that they can support their entire family. You see, you, you can't, your son can't go to work at McDonald's and become a manager and take care of his whole family, even if he likes it. Why? Because it doesn't pay enough. You've got to be looking for training and education and career paths for your sons that allow them to be able to make enough money to support their families. And I've explained some of the things that uh, Dana and I have had to do. It's been a, it's been a sacrifice the whole time. But uh, it's... It's really about priorities. It's about priorities. What's the most important? And Jesus gave us a, Jesus gave us a, a teaching in, that helps us to see priority. And, and I've taken this. You've heard this. So what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world, loses his own soul? I've changed the words here to apply to mothers. And I want to read this to you because it's really about priority. And my point to you is you can't afford not to. You can't afford not to begin to move towards this design. Because if you don't move towards this design, by the great majority of the time, you're going to lose your children. Look and listen to this. This is the Mark 8, 36 and 37 as applied to mothers. For what will it profit a mother if she gains the respect of her peers, if she experiences a stellar career, and if she piles up a full bank account and loses her own children? Or what will a mother give in exchange for the souls of her children? You know, I've thought about retirement more recently. I turned 48 well, a week or so ago. And I've thought about it. And I've thought about how, how little I've got put away for it. And I've thought about how challenging it's going to be for me to get caught up and get money put away by the time I retire. And it, and it occurred to me that, I, that I've sacrificed all of that for ministry, number one, but for my kids. 
I've sacrificed it all to keep my wife home. Sacrificed it all for those four souls that God has entrusted to me. My wife has sacrificed any money that she could have made out in the world. She's given up on any career that she might have been able to have. Like I said, she wasn't really a, d a desire of hers, but whatever she could have done, she sacrificed it. That 30 or 40 or 50 grand a year that she could have made over 20 years, that's a million dollars. But my friends, when it's all, when you're at the end of the road, mothers, and you're looking back and your children have been lost, what would you give then? Don't wait till then. Give it now. And a final objection. I can't do this. I've heard women say that. I've heard a lot of them say that. That's simply not true. Each of us has to mold ourselves, push ourselves to be to, to fulfill all that God has called us to be, to be doing and, and to be accomplishing. Men are going to have to do that as they see God's standard for what they're supposed to be. And a woman has to do that. And you have so much skill and so much uh, energy and so much capability. You can do this. You're just afraid of it because you don't know it. But I can tell you, you can and your love for your children and the power of God will help you to do it. God will not command something He does not give you the power to accomplish. God will help you to do this. I just pray, I just pray that some of, my, some of those Christian couples out there tonight are, are listening to this and, you're, and you're, God has already been pricking your heart and, you're, and, and this will motivate you and encourage you that you can make, you can begin to move in that direction. You can begin to change the financial structure of your home. You can begin to get out of debt. You can begin to move towards that, that uh, situation where you can have God's design fully manifested in your life. It won't happen overnight, but it can happen and God will be with you and the kingdom and the nation and your children will be so much better off if you do that.